Well, Mitchell Asset News, my name is Rob. And today what we want to talk about is security. And if you've been living under a rock, uh, it's now 2023 in January, you know that uh, it's very important to keep your crypto with yourself, not your keys, not your crypto. I'm going to give you three reasons why you should take it off exchanges. And those reasons are Celsius, Voyager, and FTX. If you want to leave your crypto on exchanges, be my guest. But over time, it's not a bad idea to take those off. And the question is then, well, how do you do it? I use a lot of, uh, I talk about this a lot, my Nano Ledger X, but there's another option on the block and that option is Arculus. And if you can take a look here, it's actually quite easy. Now, there are some differences and uh, we can, we're gonna get into the, the security, how to set it up, how to use it, and of course, uh, how these things differ. But basically this is what it is. You've got a card and it looks just like this was one in the video. I have mine right here. And essentially these are your private keys. It's stored right here on your card. These are your keys. So when we say not your keys, not your crypto, well, you have your keys. They are right here. We're gonna set that up today. Now we take a look at it actually. The question is what is Arculus? So Arculus is another cold storage device. And the people behind it is CompuSecure, or CompoSecure, excuse me. And they are a publicly traded company. They're listed on NASDAQ. Uh, ticker name is CMPO. They have got 20 years of experience developing innovative, secure payment solutions worldwide. They manufacture tens of millions of metal cards in New Jersey each year for the largest banks in the world. Now they are in, and they've done this for quite some time, a couple of years now, cold storage. So Arculus is a Web3 enabled wallet that features NFT storage as well and viewing through the Arculus wallet app. And how it works essentially is that video you just saw, you just tap it next to your phone. And when you're trying to send out crypto, not when you're receiving, when you wanna to try to send out crypto, you just tap it and away it goes. It's not connected to anything. And if you lose it or it gets stolen, no one else can use it but you because there is three factor authentication. We'll get to that in a second. And how this works is the card communicates with your wallet app via tapped to transact secure NFC connection. No Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi, no USB, no cords. And that is essentially what it's trying to replace with, of course, the Nano Ledger, which you have to charge it. This thing will actually keep a charge, but uh, it also will use Bluetooth on certain devices. And of course, if you haven't charged it and it doesn't uh, have electricity, well, you can't use it. That's a little bit different here when we're using our Arculus card. So to dig into it and talk about how this three-factor authentication works. So first of all, when it says that nobody can use it but you, that's true, but if somebody has your card, they can use it. But to get into your phone where the uh, app is held so you can actually send out crypto, first, you're gonna have a biometric lock and it's either gonna be face ID or a thumbprint depending on your particular uh, smartphone device. So that's the first step. Second step is a six digit numeric pin. So even if somebody steals your phone, they're gonna have to, well, probably steal your face or your thumb. Hopefully it doesn't happen to you. The next part is they're going to have to get know your six-digit numeric pin. And the third part, which they might have, they might have this on them if you store it like I do with my, my phone, or I have actually my wallet in the back and I can put it right here. But it doesn't matter because you have to get through all three of these things in unison. And if you're wondering, which I was wondering, well, how does this differ from the other devices? Because if we take a look here, Arculus, as far as... Uh, Ease of use, well, it is pretty easy, that's true. And then of course, other cold storage devices, let's just call it a, uh, a nano ledger uh, or a file with display. It's not as easy as, uh, as uh, of course, the Arculus. And with hot wallets, well, those are super easy, but they're always connected to the internet. Security, all pretty good. Hot wallets, eh, not so much, but they're very easy. No charge required, three-factor authentication, view storage, share NFTs, well, they can all do that and offers live customer support. I gotta tell you, that is uh, one of the things that I like to see. And then also in the FAQs, the question that I always have was, well, what can I store in here and what can I send and receive? And pretty much, there's a, there's a long list. I'm not gonna go over it, it's uh, relatively extensive, but not everything. I would say, you know, we got about uh, 28 or so different cryptos that are offered here. You can store, send, receive, and also there's an option to buy and swap. I'm not a fan of buying and swapping on cold storage devices, prob probably because of the different uh, uh, companies that are uh, associated with that and the outrageous fees, but uh, we'll take a look. So that is Arculus in a nutshell. And the first thing we need to do is figure out, well, how exactly do I download this? So it's gonna come in this nice nifty little box. You're gonna open this sucker up. It's gonna have pretty much three things. It's gonna have your 
uh, looks like your My Recovery Sheet. It's going to have your Arculus card itself. And then it has this. Let's get started. And the, basically what you want to do is hold this up. And just like you know how to do this because we've all lived through coronavirus now. And we know how to scan everything for a menu or anything else or if you, if you scan for crypto. We're just going to take our phone and we're going to scan this device. So here's my phone. I'm just going to get going here. And then, of course, for me, it could be different for you. I'm just going to swipe down. There's my, my scanner itself. And I'm going to put that right in the center and say, all right, let's get started. It's going to take me right to uh, the website itself. Sure. And let's get started. Download the Arculus Wallet app. That's very easy. And I have an app. I mean, I have an Apple, excuse me, or an iPhone. I'm going to click on download in the App Store. I'm going to get uh, the actual app itself. And yeah, I'm going to double click to install this. And now we got it. So now we're just going to click on Get Started, accept the terms and policies. I should probably read those, but uh, let's be honest, I'm not going to. Ready to scan, tap and hold your card on the back of your smartphone. So this right here is where we get to the meat and potatoes. So this is going to be our private keys, and it's going to put those into this card. So tap and hold your card to the back of your smartphone. All right. All right, and there it goes. Tap and hold your card to the back of your smartphone. And what I'm going to do is I want to create a new wallet. I'm going to click on create new wallet. I'm going to create a pin, and it is uh, six digits. So I want to put in uh, my pin, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just kidding, that's not what it is. And there we go, creating wallet, 60% complete, 80%, and voila, we have a wallet. So it's gonna say, here's my secret phrase. Now you can't see that because I grade it all out, but there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, there's 12 words that I'm going to write down on this handy dandy card that they gave me. Now. I would also recommend that you put this somewhere safe, like a stone book. And I have uh, multiple ones of those. Those are smudge proof, rain proof, wet proof, and uh, they are where I store everything. And I've got a couple of those, so I highly recommend to not put it on a piece of paper and go, I'm sure I'll find it at some point, because when you lose it, it's gonna hurt you. I lost 20,000 Cardano that way, don't be me. So I'm gonna write those down right now. Great, so I did it. I'm gonna say, I wrote down the phrase, and now it's gonna ask me, of course, make sure I actually did it, I'm not lying to it, so let me do that real quick. And I will confirm that. Great, and I'm all set up, go to the home screen. So right now you'll see that I have 0.00, .00. oh, look at that, it's already, you got a little Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDC, USDT, and XRP, and of course right here in the very bottom where it says to add assets, I can add whatever I want to. Now I like this part here because I can add as much as I want to. Now with, with uh, Nano Ledger, it's a little bit different. You have to download these things and hopefully it has enough room and you have to update and all this stuff. It's kind of a pain actually, but I can do as many as I want to. <laughs> FTT token, hilarious. Hex, Link, Loop Ring, Mana, Matic, sure, Maker. Let's just see how many I can do here. Quant, Super Rare, Sandbox, Sushi, Uniswap, uh, Rare and Final, whatever. And we'll apply and look at that. See, I like that. It makes things just so much simpler just to do something. Like, that's very cool. I do like that. It's pretty awesome. So I'll just use Bitcoin. Great. You can receive, send, and swap. So to receive is very easy. Click on receive. And that, of course, is my, well, my Bitcoin wallet address. And what I can do is I can take some Bitcoin and transfer it over, which I'm going to do right now with my Nano Ledger. And actually, uh, I don't think anybody confused. Like, you can, I can leave this out here. This is a public address. I can leave this anywhere. And if you want to send me Bitcoin, go right ahead. I have no problems with that. But then when I want to send something, it's a little bit different. So let me send some to uh, here, and I want to show you how to how you can spend it later. <laughs> All right, so great. Then there it is. And I got to tell you, it took about uh, 10 minutes or so, 9, 10 minutes. So I know people will always talk about Bitcoin, how it's going to be a currency. You need to speed things up. I think uh, if we could use the Lightning Network a little bit more, we'd be right on track. Anyhow. So now that we have Bitcoin, let me show you exactly how this works if I wanna send this to somebody else. So I'm gonna send this to somebody, a Bitcoin address. I'm gonna find one of my own. I'm gonna place this in here. Click on done. And then let's see how much Bitcoin I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna send about, well, let's just put it, let's just send out $5, right? Click on done again. Balance not available. 
Well, I don't know because uh, I think I'm doing everything right here, but it says fear balance not available. So let's go check in with Arculus and see what's the problem. Well, good news because there is supposed to be live customer support. So let's find out if that's actually true. So we're going to go back to Arculus, get Arculus.com, click on contact us, get help, get solutions. Sure, get help. And type your question here. And I keep getting the error of fee error balance not available. So let's see what it says. Search. Any fees? Of course, there's fees. Have a section. I don't get in this wallet dashboard. We did that. Did that. Let's go to help. Help right here. It's going to ask us to type in our question. Sure, I keep getting this error message. What is that? No, that's not it. Let's get in touch. Leave a message. Name. <sighs> keep getting this error message of available see image below and i already did a screenshot of this so i will send it over and we'll see what they say so yeah they actually did reach out and took about uh, five or six minutes but it was pretty quickly and the uh, gentleman by the name of nick emailed me and says rob thanks for reaching out please ensure you run the latest version of the oraculus app and you can check this by going to settings tab and I said, well, look, man, I just downloaded it, but here's what I got. Version 2.2.0, build 184, whatever it was. I go, that's the latest version because I just downloaded it. And he goes, okay, thanks for letting me know. And he wrote me back in like two minutes. And if you've already tried, please completely close out the app so it's not running in the background. Then relaunch the app and attempt, attempt your transaction again. So I did that and that didn't work. But he did say here, if you continue to encounter issues, please delete and reinstall the Arculus app and then restore your wallet using your 12-word recovery phrase. So I got to tell you, right off the bat, things ain't going too hot. But uh, thankfully, I did write them down, like we did say. So I just recovered it, and then voila, lo and behold, uh, I was able to move things around. So let's just jump into my phone. I'll show you what it looks like. So again, here we are. My phone, I'm going to open up the Arculus Wallet app. and Go with the login screen, I suppose. And it's going to ask me the same thing again. Hold this. Oh, and I did it. Sinking wallet. So now, of course, I have less money because the price of Bitcoin went down because I'm recording this a day, uh, the next day later. So what am I going to do? I'm going to click on Bitcoin. <clears throat> if I want to send this out, and let's see, let me go grab uh, my wallet address. Let me paste this in. And there we go. I'm going to click on done. And then to move some Bitcoin around, I got 0.000421. Let me just put in 0 0.00040. That's a 927 because I need to save some things for some fees, obviously. And I'm going to click on next. Enter your PIN code, 12356. Just kidding. And now this is where the magic comes in. Again, you can't do these things. You can't move things around without this card. So I'm going to hold this up to the card, sign transaction. Please keep your phone attached to your Arcos card for one minute. I can do that. No big deal. And voila, I just got sent it back. Let's return to the home screen. There's a couple of things I need to make mention of, and that is this. So just like we had, we had three-factor authentication. We can see that, of course, we had the pin. That was one of the factor authentication. We had the card. But what happened to the biometrics? You have to go to settings in the lower right-hand corner. And where it says authorization, enable 3FA pin code. So again, you're going to click on here to activate the biometric login. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out and see how this works out. So let me log in again with the Arculus Wallet. And then now is where we get, do you want to allow Arculus Wallet to use Face ID? And of course, I'm going to say yes, because I want to use the third factor authentication. So now, if I want to send anything, I have to have, that has to be my face, it has to be the pin, and it has to be the card. And that is essentially Arculus in a nutshell. Now, without the little hiccup, I mean, it was interesting that we could see that, hey, even if you lost things, you could restore everything. Uh, with your uh, recovery key and it works like that but that's what we have for today so look uh, there will be a link in the description it's not an affiliate link and i wasn't paid for this promotion i would like to say thank you because arculus uh, allowed me to give two of their cold storage wallets away for our january sweat coin uh, step challenge so i appreciate it very much and that's it so if you like today's video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and that's it for today so appreciate you stopping by and i'll see you on the next one